Hello everybody, this is Mateo, and now we can go to the sweets factory. That only took forever. I mean, we last checked over there when looking for the preschool. However, it definitely wasn't there. In fact, I passed it like four times, but that's besides the point. We are getting into a fight with a cougar. Didn't I show these guys before? Could have sworn I did. Ah, well, here they are again. All of these enemies, all these animals are, like, very weak. Nothing special about them at all. So, yeah, just easy experience. I gave, like, 64. That's pretty good. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, anyways, we can head on down here for reals. And now we can enter. Now, this place looks rather neat. I mean, they put, uh, different, like... And just the bricks and everything, all the panels on the wall. We're just going to drop the plastic bat and the slingshot because I never sold those. And plus, I'm not really that strapped for cash. And talk to the treasure or the present, of course. You know, that's always what you do when we get a magic herb, yay. So I'm basically going to comb this entire place. Uh, you know, like comb the desert. However, we will find. Yeah, that word, yes. And we also got a butter knife, which is a weapon for uh, Teddy. Like, the sword. However, the sword is better, so just go ahead and get rid of it as well. Or you can go and sell it. Oh, there. Whoa, okay. Hello. Um, well, we went down the hallway that I was from the ladder that I just went down, and there was nothing in that room. Uh, that was interesting. Oh, well, it's not too drastic. L just go left from where I was on the ladder, and then you can find uh, this place. And now getting rid of that magical herb and the physical cap so we can raise an intense strength by four. Uh, the caps are basically short for capsule, and they will give you uh, stat increases. And we get life up cream. That's pretty nice. And now this last door... See those white flashes? That's basically me getting me running into a battle and cutting it out, but not cutting out it out exactly white, right, so that the white spot is still showing up. But anyways, head on back up here. See, not really much missed at all. We already went in there, so head on back. I believe, uh, basically starting from the bottom and working our way up because where we want to go is at the very top. However, I also want to check out all these doors to get all the treasure. I will not do the same for the other factory area right after this. I will instead uh, just go to the places of the items that I really want to get, which is about half of them, and maybe more. It takes a while, but once cut out battles, is not really all that much. You might be wondering, what are you actually running into? I mean, you haven't shown a single random battle. Well, this area mostly contains rats and sometimes centipedes, I believe. Nothing really of interest. Rope. Why do, Why am I getting the rope? I'm just going to end up throwing it away. I think at this point I was super OCD about it. and was just like, okay, I need to pick up every single treasure chest and make sure that the present stays open by getting rid of an item and keeping it and then getting rid of it if necessary. But then after Duncan's factory, I was like, ah, whatever. And yeah, so luckily that happened and I had that change of heart. All these doors, the sign above them, it looks like they say exit. However, they most certainly are not the exit. It would have been a nice touch if they put that just on the exit. However, they did not, so oh well. Uh, heading fully right over there. Well, only when they're on the back wall, not when they're on the side, like they sometimes are. And there's an antidote. So we shall get rid of yet another magic herb. Where are all these people getting the magic herbs in the world? I mean, they're supposed to come from Magicant, right? Did they go to Magicant and get them? And there's a useless antidote. So just go ahead and get rid of that. I think healing alpha or maybe beta heals poison. So really, you don't need the antidotes antidotes at all. Come on now. I hate it when that happens, when I just get stuck on the last uh, tile. And I press right and then it doesn't work. And then I try to press up, but for whatever reason it doesn't move up at least one tile. Okay, quick capsule... I'm going to save that for now, see if I can save it for a new character that it would be more helpful on. However, I don't think it's really going to work out because we still have more items that we need to get. 
my inventory is pretty much full for useful stuff. And we also need a spot for our items to get a bottle rocket. So, yep, let's just go ahead and use the quick capsule. Raises speed. He's the second best character to use the quick capsule on. And we get a bottle rocket. You can actually get as many bottle rockets as you want from that thing. Uh, provided that you have enough inventory space. What is with all of the plastic bats? Really, game? Okay. And last treasure chest, present thing, contains life of cream. Um, and around now is when I decided that getting all the things doesn't matter as long as I show what they are and show the important ones that I think are necessary to win slash the helpful ones like life of creams. So with that, we can leave this place. I also think it's a nice touch how they have Ninten turn around when he's climbing down a ladder so it looks like he's actually climbing down rather than just running down it. That's a pretty nice touch and also my dog was barking. Okay, what was that, a fight capsule? That's actually helpful, we're going to get rid of the life up cream for that. Not really taking all that much damage, although again that's because mostly this place contains rats. Now the other factory, that's a whole other story but we increase the energy by 4. You'd think that would increase your fight and therefore your attack power and actually be useful. However, that is not the case. So, let's just hurry this up, get to the actual exit, which I don't really remember exactly where it is. I think it's... No, I think I went down too far. Yeah, there we go. And that was the bottom level where I accidentally cut out like a minute, not even a minute of walking around. Okay, still the wrong door. Come on now. Find the right one. Ah, oh, there we go. I was expecting it to be at the front and not at the side, but oh well. And another random cut as we ran into a whole bunch of battles at once. There are a lot of times where I run into a battle, take a step, and then run into another one. It's really annoying. I like it when you can travel, like, a actually travel some and then get into a battle instead. So, we went all there so that Lloyd could fly the bottle rocket. So let's go ahead and give him the bottle rocket that we just got. I mean, that was the whole point that we went in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to him. Yes, I know you are Lloyd. You've introduced yourself like twice now. The sweet little factory. Here's the bottle rocket. And he wants to make some more. And we're going to go to the lab. So I guess he's with us for now. And then this is an automatic cutscene. Okay, yep. Duncan's factory. I already mentioned that accidentally. So we get to go to factory after factory. So I hope you like the way that the factories look. I think they look kind of neat. Four eyes. Oh my god, Ninja 10, get out your back. He's a really a four eyes in disguise. Okay, so your bottle rocket and my, I'm guessing intellect or something, and it blows up. Well, um, that was great. And then if we go right back in, suddenly it's magically put back together again. And you can buy random things from this guy for a ton of money. Um, last weapon, it just basically gives you a little message. As for the other things, I don't know what they do. If you have a whole bunch of extra money, which you will towards the end of the game, you might want to try and see what they do. I mean, it might be interesting to see. I've never tried them, but oh well. But anyways, now that we have Lloyd, we're going to go ahead and go to Magicant, talk to this cat, because he will say, have you heard of a magic candy that gives strength and power to a helpless child? Well, Lloyd is extremely helpless, and so let's go ahead and talk to him and get said candy. Now, I didn't think that it gave him gave it to me. Oh, there we go, it gave it to me. But he automatically put it in Lloyd's inventory, and only Lloyd can use it. And he gets an, a boost to energy, which doesn't really do much, I think. I don't know what energy does exactly. Oh, well. There's a place where we can store items. We might need to use that. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grind Lloyd up a whole bunch of levels, and also get him the three same pieces of armor that Ninten has. Also, yeah, that just randomly happened. Like, I checked my money amount, and that, well, that's what it was. It was hilarious, and yeah. So anyways, now that we've trained Lloyd up, gotten him all three of the equipment pieces, uh, fire pendant, gold ring, and... Shoot, what was it called? It was the... Darn it. Well, whatever Ninten has, 
if you really want to see what it is, just go back to the part where I bought stuff for Nintendo. Oh, the train tracks are blocked, darn. Or you can go see, like, go see, uh, just pick the last item in all the, uh, things that you can buy from the guy in each store. And the fire pendant. The fire pendant is the last thing mentioned, but still. The other two things, gold pen, gold ring, and whatever the thing is, I don't really remember. Oh well. So we're heading to another dot, which is Duncan's factory, and we just picked up a pass for said factory. Oh, hello, dog. Let me guess, you're going to take my key, and then I'm just going to need to break the door open. And, oh, what's going on? Why is a dog beeping? Dog, why are you beeping? Are you that angry at me? Are you cursing at me? Oh, okay. That's what it is. Oh, well, no. Okay, yes, the Earth faces a crisis. Thank you very much. So let's go ahead and show the dog the pass. He'll probably take it and make me need to explode the door. Okay. And then... Okay. Oh, hi. Now watch the stray dog. Yep, see? You see? The collar magically appeared and its tail turned. Oh well. And we killed it. Yay! And now we can go into Duncan's factory next time. See you then.